Tax data matters because with good data we can have good research and previous research uh, has been quite contentious when it comes to uh, basic questions like does aid crowd out tax revenue. So one of the contributions of the GRD uh, is it helped to shed light on this kind of question but also it has helped to explore new questions that weren't previously possible uh, because there wasn't such a consistent uh, data set both across countries and also over time. Previous research on the relationship between aid and tax, um, especially the cross-country evidence, uh, was showing that uh, aid can crowd out uh, tax revenue. And that means when uh, countries receive large amounts of aid, they might not uh, raise all the revenue they could raise because they have these large sums of money coming from outside. One of the contributions of the GRD has been to uh, really uh, dispute that, uh, that result. In fact, there are many studies that show that uh, when countries receive lots of aid, Sometimes their tax revenue might even go up because part of that aid is used to improve tax capacity in the, uh, in the receiving country. This is obviously very important from a policy perspective uh, because for aid to be uh, sustainable and effective, especially in the long term, especially if we're thinking about a long-term exit strategy from foreign aid, we need to make sure that aid does not discourage tax revenue, but on the other hand, it actually um, helps to improve tax collection in the receiving country. So the ICTD initially put together this data. It was a long uh, process. It was very hard work. It took three years. And once that was done, uh, one of our main objectives was to make sure that the data set is sustainable and has a life after it has been uh, set up in the first place. So that's where uh, UNU Wider came uh, into play uh, and the data set was transferred from ICTD two wider uh, who make a commitment to uh, continue uh, updating the database and maintaining it with, the, uh, with newer data as they become available. The, the really exciting thing about uh, uh, projects that bring together researchers and, uh, and practitioners from uh, revenue authorities, for example, is that not only this research is very high quality, it gets published in good journals, but also that it has a direct policy implication. And oftentimes, not only the results get implemented, but throughout the whole process, because researchers or practitioners from the revenue authority are part of the project throughout, uh, they can actually see things as, as they develop. They can see issues with their own data that they might be able to fix because they are the ones who own the data. And by the end of the project, uh, a lot of the recommendations are already under discussion and are already implemented. Oftentimes, researchers from Europe or from, from the US, they are the ones who use this data, which is uh, all, uh, all very good, but we do need to make sure that African researchers, especially in those institutions who own the data, like revenue authorities, but also in universities and, uh, and in other institutions, have the capacity to make the most out of this data and to, influ to influence their own policymakers by using the data and publishing the results.